you should listen to the legal statement about my recordings also in this channel but I have only recorded government contractors and subcontractors acting in the public fora and they do not have an expectation of privacy and it's more uh, detailed in that uh, video labeled as uh, legal statement but so I you know since the most pressing problem seemed to be the hard problem so I focused in on the general practitioners the primary care and the cardiologists who were interfering with my care not giving me medical care uh, suppressing and hiding all those facts about how my injuries came about and there was also a neurologist involved and I didn't focus much on him uh, and that of course is Dr. Lawrence Wicker who practices in uh, Northern PG County and so well so I saw Dr. Wicker and he did, uh, you know, I saw him at the end of 2014 and um, he also, you know, when he did a neurological exam and a part of a neurological exam is that fundoscopic exam of the eye where you look back at the veins and arteries uh, way beyond the eye and that gives you some uh, information about the brain and he was supposed to note whether he saw any venous pulsations now what happens is when you have uh, a higher intracranial pressure which is a bad thing it's a you know problem with a head injury and what happens is those venous pulsations are not seen and interestingly when Dr. Wicker did that test he did not men make any note about the venous pulsations which is just standard operating procedure and you know so you know that's the kind of information he's concealing and then he came up with this sham plan basically that no uh, bearing on my condition because you know he he did not write up my history at all and if you don't write up the history how do you you know if you if you don't write the a b and c how do you get to the xyz basically right so um, so he ordered a whole bunch of tests basically to uh, make money for his practice uh, and you know it really wouldn't uh, help me in any way so of course I didn't do those tests he ordered a um, uh, hearing balance test and this is a very it used to be um, it, it's only a recent addition that this ENG test a hearing balance test that is checking for the disease Meniere's disease which hardly anyone has which is some problem in the inner ear and it used to be you would only find it like out in Johns Hopkins or something this kind of testing and now all these new Neurologists have learned that they can make a lot of money by uh, having this this kind of this kind of testing in their office, and no one ever turns out to have Meniere's disease. Then the other testing he ordered was this uh, I think this E this EEG this electronic brain wave testing, which is also a very expensive test done in his office, and that basically tests for epilepsy. And I don't have anything related to epilepsy. And then the final test was he ordered a TCD a transcranial Doppler and that checks if you are getting normal blood flow into the brain but if you have a heart condition which is basically heart failure uh, it means that every part of your body is not getting normal blood flow so there's nothing really that you really can learn anything because we already know that the brain and other parts of the body are not getting uh, adequate blood because of the heart problem and so and if it showed that there's no way to tell if it's something from the brain because we already know there's the problem from the heart causing the same problem so you know basically he just wanted me to set he just wanted to make a lot of money at the same time send me down a dead end anyway so I'm back to him now because obviously uh, as you heard in the tape with my primary care that in my heart problem treatment 
uh, there's a big complication where I'm getting this problem which is uh, a uh, which is actually um, my blood pressure is supposed to be a little bit elevated I guess it looks like because that because usually when you have a head injury uh, your body blood pressure goes up a little bit to compensate uh, for the problem in the head and that's not the and so what happens is for heart failure they treat with um, medication that lowers blood pressure and so then I was having problems with that medication obviously because those are like two contradictions so if I want to treat the heart condition then I have to treat with medication that lowers blood pressure and and then that and that harms the brain injury so obviously I have to come to a neurologist and I'm here to see Dr. Wicker